And joining us now to talk about some of these issues arising from the South African Post Office, we're joined by Zianda Noine from the Communication Workers Union. A very good evening to you. And thank you so much for speaking to us. I'd just like to start with this fact, the fact that uh, the state-owned entity has been struggling, being in dire economic straits for years. The minister yet says, the minister yet says that they are engaging critical stakeholders on the provisional liquidation. Could something have been done sooner or earlier? Thank you very much. Uh, firstly, as organized labor, would would love to welcome the initiative that is done by our shareholder, which is the government. And uh, through the postal, digital and telecommunications, one would like to emphasize on the importance of post office. As we all know that post office is servicing the poor of the poorest, especially in the rural areas and the society at large. So, as the minister has um, alluded that he is, uh, he will be able to, 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 to rescue post office and make sure that everything will be, uh, uh, will be workable. Thank you. Mm. So the minister believes that SAPO has developed a bankable strategy to transform the entity and make it profitable for business once again. But just from a worker's point of view, what signs have there been that this could indeed happen? Are they engaging you? Look, man, as Labour, we believe that if um, SAPO, it, it will be given a business of postal in Korea by government, of which uh, government is spending plus minus 20 billion as in a year, as per the previous states. If the government can give that business into SAPO, automatically SAPO won't, won't, won't need any injection funds. SAPO will be sustainable and also the, 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 the departments of government, which is the Department of Education, your Department of Health, if they can give business to SAPO to deliver medication and to deliver the textbook as well, then SAPO will be sustainable and it will be workable. Mm, okay, so that's just one side of the business. We'll come back to other expanded services that the government says it's looking at. But I just want to hear how long has the company been struggling to pay workers? Um, look, man, it's, I think it's, it's been two to three years now. The company is, uh, is suffering to, to pay workers. Uh, we've been paid via your, your, your loans and whatsoever. We are told that we are paid via the loans and whatsoever. So I believe if uh, government also would look on the legislation in terms of that zero to one kg, uh, parcel to be delivered by post office. If they can look into that and work it, make it workable, and also not to allow those private companies uh, in that space, then post office will be sustainable and be given a business. Also, won't be cry, cry, being cry babies in our government in terms of the bailouts. Mm. And are workers getting their full salaries at the moment? Has there been a discussion about government going forward on while the talks continue? If there's a possibility that the post office cannot meet its obligations, who will pay workers? Look, in, in terms of the payment so far, we're still getting our full pay. Uh, as post office workers, but there, there was a communique from the company via the touching basis in terms of saying the company want to introduce your two to three working days, which will reduce the, 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 the working hours. So in, in that, um, the company is still engaging with the labor in terms of the working hours. And also, we must bear in mind there's the issue of um, retrenchment that is looming in post office. We, we're just hoping that um, the, the, the intervention of the government and the intervention of the minister, Mr. Ngubel, will minimize the number 
of workers that will be retrenched in the post office. Right. So let's look at some of the things that Mr. Kongobello was saying. Um, he was referring to the proposed change of mandate for the entity as according to the South African Post Office Amendment Bill. Um, this will mean, I understand from some of what he's been saying, an extension of offering other services. You spoke about the courier space, but they also looked at e-commerce. Are there areas in which you can just explain to us as uh, people who aren't very familiar with some of the services uh, that could be on this uh, plan that you feel will have to cover the balance sheet? Because I'm just looking, according to the last statement of March 2022, the SA Post Office was in debt of 4 billion rand more than its assets and it owed more than 4.4 billion rand to its creditors. So it sounds like a huge shortfall to cover. Look, man, uh, I, I believe that um, uh, Mr. Ngubele mentioned the, the issue of the street conditions in the bailout. I believe if uh, Mr. Ngubele can introduce that, the street conditions in the bailout, it will minimize and reduce the corruption as we, we, we can, we, as now, uh, the management of post office, uh, as we observe that, management has started to, to sign the fleet contracts, of which now they are starting to throw the, the javelin of some sort for them to get an excess in that 2.4 uh, billion of the okay. bailouts. So finally, the minister is assuring the public that all necessary steps will be taken to ensure that there's a continuous provision of social services, timely grant payments, an efficient workforce and harmonious negotiations. But what I'm more interested in, just looking at that situation in Bizani, we heard some of the community members just saying the structure itself was unsafe. How can the post office include working conditions for workers if it's conti to continue under a new mandate are you putting some of these suggestions forward oh in the, in in that in that uh, situation that happened in the eastern cape whereby uh, our fellow comrades passed on i believe that the um, the street security must be in must be in place whereby if especially in the rural areas remember the rural area is scattered whereby you go from one place to another to, to service uh, uh, um, the elderly people for for social grant so in that i i believe that the security must be there to make sure that the members are in the safe space Thank you so much for your time, Zianda Noine from the Communication Workers Union, speaking to us about some of these issues, uh, the challenge within the South African Post Office, financial challenges, and of course, uh, some of the social issues that we saw there with the killings in Bizana.